Yes, uh, hello again, uh, dear friend, dear brother, or uh, dear sister. So, continuing, uh, you know, on our path to finding this, uh, what we call uh, absolute happiness or unconditional happiness or a happiness which has no conditions. But tell me one thing, you know, how are you actually going to find this, uh, what you call uh, the state of unconditional happiness, if you really do not know about yourself? You know, if you are not fully familiar with who you really are, right? So the focus of this video is to uh, try and give you uh, some idea you know, so that you can reflect a little bit more deeply. You know, you look at yourself, basically what do you do? You get up in the morning and right from morning, you reflect on yourself till the time you go to sleep. You are just busy in whatever you want to do, right? And being so busy, not only this life, many lives have gone. Many, many lives have gone when you have not bothered to really look at this. That's why I'm bringing this focus back on who you really are. Look. You're not just this physical body. Within you, we discussed about that. You know, there's a spirit, there is uh, intuition, there is uh, thoughts, and there are feelings, right? So you're not just just this physical form, just in which all these things are just coming in and being processed. So look at this now very carefully, with respect to this physical plane you have a physical body, right? With respect to the astral plane, you have what you call is astral body, right? Why? Because your astral body is the very source from where emotions are coming in, right? With respect to the mental plane, you actually have a mental body, right? Why? Because your mental body is the source connecting with the mental plane from where, which is the source of all these thoughts that flow into you, right? Now going beyond this, that is basically just your basic bodies, right? Going beyond that, you have what you call as an intuitive body, which is connected with the plane of intuition. And you know, you're going to be very surprised, you will be you know, absolutely amazed that, you know, your most important parts in your functionality is not the physical body, not the astral body, not the mental body, but your higher bodies. You know, where actually I'm talking about where you will find this unconditional happiness, that is your intuitive body or the body of intuition and that is then linked with the higher, the highest body, which we, which they call the atomic body, or which is the spirit, right? So, you got a physical body, a astral body, a mental body, an intuitive body, and a body of spirit. But then you will say, you know, you know, Anil is saying about all these things. Where are they, right? Now, this is the beauty. You know, I'm not talking about any theory here. I'm going to prove this to you that they are right here and they are functioning all the time, right? But first, let's look at the location of these bodies. So, look at me carefully here, I'm stretching my hands. Uh, I hope uh, it's coming in the full uh, picture, right? So, when you stretch your hands, you know, and if you draw a circle like this all around you, look, right? This is basically your aura. And this is who you really are. You're not just this physical frame, right? No. I'm going to start uh, from the center of your nose, right? And I'm going to go one feet on either side. So when I say one feet on either side, basically, you know, this is the elbow, right? If you come in six inches inside, that's about one feet, right? So one feet on either side, if you look at it, and again, you draw this huge circle around you, right? That is your astral body. That is the astral body connected to the astral plane, the source of your feelings, right? Now, if I go one feet, uh, sorry, not one feet, 
a bit more further from this one feet I go six inches up to where your elbow is so here I stretch my hands and this is about going six inches from that one feet now this six inches from your elbow look six inches if I draw this huge again like an eclipse a circle around myself that's your mental body right that is connected to the mental plane and that is from where your thoughts filter in into your physical frame right you will ask me well what is the proof look at one thing you know you're more connected with your emotions all the time you can feel your emotions you know you can see you're crying look <laughs> I smiled I see you can see that emotion but you can't see the thought which came into me that I'm going to laugh now right that's why the astral body is so huge for one feet to the left and right and it's right next to you and then comes your mental body because thoughts just seem to come and go look the material of thoughts is much more finer and this is your everyday experience it's much more finer than the material of feelings right okay these are your lower bodies this is connected with what we call relative happiness or conditioned happiness because your happiness is dependent on what your feelings are what your emotions are and what your physical activity is but now I'll tell you you know where did sage Ramana or master Bian Sadduno or Jesus Christ or Shankaracharya you know or uh, whatever great saint you may think of reached right because they hardly functioned in their lower body in their physical in their emotional in their mental or thoughts so let's I'm, I'm stretching my hands again right listen to this again very carefully starting from your elbow and going approximately right up to where your fingers are starting right that actually if, if I draw this huge circle around you right in your aura right that basically is your body of intuition right that's your intuitive body that's from intuition flows into you right and then your body of intuition as I said I've reached the fingertips now now if you look at your fingertips or your hand you know I mean this is just an approximation and if I draw again another circle equivalent to the length of your hand or fingertips that basically is your spirit or the Atma right that is what we call as divine will right that's from where divine will flows into you so recapping physical body I haven't covered the etheric body I will in another talk astral body then mental body then the body of intuition and then the spirit so okay look that's fine now you may say that you know oh, this person Anil uh, he has just stated that uh, but where do I have the proof right look this is who you are and here is the proof of this no it doesn't matter wherever you may be sitting you know you just sit and relax right what I want you to do is look at one thing you know leave the physical body the thoughts and the feelings can you see that this image or this picture you know including where you are watching this video and everything around that video everything around you it just seems to appear in front of you I mean the images appear in front of you effortlessly look at this very carefully this is what you have not looked at this is where this unconditional happiness lies right you know how do images or how do pictures appear in front of you without thinking without feeling without any action right this is how it happens look you know from where your spirit is that is the source of divine will that acts on your intuitive body that acts on the divine intuition so when the divine will from the spirit or your spirit body acts on your intuition or the divine intuition of your intuitive body that is how you see these images intuitively look there is no thought there is no feeling now I'm going to take an example right uh, and this is a mobile right this is my mobile right I want you to look at it so you can see that the image of this uh, mobile as well appears in front of me but I'm going to put a question to you what is this and then you will say this is a mobile so now just look at it first the image appeared then I said look at it intuitively you know you're looking at that and then I said what is it you will say or I'm saying this is a mobile so the moment I say that this object it is a mobile what is that 
That's a thought flowing into you. Look, when you stretch your arms, now your mental body is active, right? And then I ask you, what, what's the color of this mobile? Of course it is gray, right? That's another thought which flows into you. But now if I say that this uh, gray color, if I change it into a red color with some black spots, then I won't like it. Because red color with black spots, maybe it's for girls, right? Maybe it's not for me, but some of you may like it, right? So now what happened? Now suddenly we have a liking for a red color or gray color or blue color. So you see from that thought came feeling. So your astral body is active now, right? And then last of all, where is all this happening? Look, I'm sitting in here, here in a park and I've got these three friends of mine, you know, they're shooting this video, right? And some of them, they don't want to appear on the video. I do want to really call them. But anyway, we look at it in, a, in another video, right? If they want to, it's their desire. So all this is actually happening here in this park in Sydney. We call it Hyde Park. I'm sitting here on a bench. This is all the physical plane, right? So that's where it is actually happening. So this is how your lower and higher bodies, they interact with each other, right? So I hope that now you really reflect upon this. This is a real practical example where you can see the functioning of the different bodies in your aura and you can actually see the functioning of the different planes as well. Look, intuitively images appear in front of you and look, a hundred lives have gone. And look at, look at yourself now, from childhood until now. Has this ever changed? This has never changed. Why? Because this is your higher nature. This is what you call God, right? This is your changeless nature. You know, I, I remember the, the words of a poem. We are always conscious of that which changes, isn't it? But are you ever conscious of that which does not change? And this is what never changes. You know, the appearance of images intuitively never changes, right? But everything that changes is your thoughts are changing. Your feelings are changing, your physical activity is changing. So now we have gone a little bit deeper. So this is who you are. Now you got to understand. Do you want to live in the higher nature? Where there is unbroken peace and it is not dependent on these external circumstances, these so-called lower desires of yours, because your desires are temporary. Whatever you wish, whatever you desire, that's all going to disappear, right? But your spirit and your intuitive body will never disappear. It's always been there. It will always be there. This is what the great sages or the great Buddha or the great Jesus Christ or the great Bayan Saduno realized. And this, this is what they lived in. This is how to realize, you know, that's why I'm talking about this and trying to pass it on to you. Because look, don't think that you've just got your own family. We are a huge family of human beings, you know, in which I consider all of you as my friends, my brothers and sisters. And I want you to be probably the way I have become. Okay, we'll finish this video here and continue. Thank you.